everyone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So I am back at you again with another DIY project. I'm going to try to get through this DIY project without my grandson busting in on me. He follows me from room to room because I went out to the car without him and now he is going to stalk me to make sure that I don't hit that door without him. Okay, so if you see a little head passing by, that's him. All right, so we, but I'm going to do this video, all right? Like, doing this video. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're going to be doing a wedding seating chart, and most of the supplies are from Dollar Tree, so that's why I said it's a Dollar Tree seating chart. So we're going to go over what we need. First of all, you're going to need some craft paper. I bought this beautiful 12 by 12 craft paper, and it has a shimmer to it. It's almost like sequins, okay? You're going to need at least two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. You're also going to need some type of paper cutter. You're going to need two foam boards from the Dollar Tree. I've got a foam board and a half, okay, from a previous project, and I'm not going to do a run to try to get another one. But it would be good if you had two of these um, ready boards from the Dollar Tree instead of one. You're also going to need some vinyl. You will need a printing, uh, a cutting machine for this, either a Cricut or a designing cut, scanning cut, um what other machine is out there silhouette okay so you will need a cutting machine so you're going to need some white vinyl it can be removable or non-removable white vinyl you're going to need a printer so that you can print out the guest names for your seating chart so you will need a printer and you only need eight and a half by eleven you don't need any special size but you will need a printer you're also going to need six of these 8x10 gold uh, frames from the Dollar Tree. This is absolutely beautiful. You can use any type of 8x10 frame that you want, but I selected these, and I love it because it has like a diamond-type look to it, a uh, diamond-type finish to it, and I think this is really pretty, so we're going to be using this. Okay, guys, so I'm going to switch camera positions, and we're going to get into this DIY. The first thing we want to do is start opening up our frames. And you want to take the backing, and of course you want to remove this part, because we don't need that, so... Um, this cord board is really cheap, so I mean if you tear it up a little bit, it's not really going to make that much of a difference. So we want to remove this part. And we also want to remove these little hanging pieces as well. We're going to open up our frames and we are going to use this backing. Um, it doesn't really matter if it gets a little damaged because this is not going to be seen. We're just using this as support. So we will be using this backing so don't throw it away. Alright guys, so our second step is to go ahead and to hot glue um, our two foam boards together. I'm using half of a foam board because... Um, I don't want to run back out to the Dollar Tree and get another foam board, but you would use two full-size foam boards and hot glue them together. Okay, guys, so you should have your two foam boards um, hot glued together, and that's just going to give you more support. Uh, now we're going to go to our next step. All right, guys, so we're actually going to go into Canvas Workspace. Um, this is the program that goes with Design and Cut, and we are going to select our uh, text tool. Let me scan over and make that bigger. So we're going to select our text tool, and um, I am using a font that I downloaded for free. It's a really, really nice font. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font style. I'm going to select our text tool. 
click into the space and I'm going to type table one. This uh, font that I am using, I have already pre-selected it. It will be in the description box below. We're going to expand this out a little bit because I want it to be nice and big when we print it out. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to say it's going to take up like two rows, okay? So we've got table number one. I'm actually going to copy this, click off of table number one, uh, do control V for paste, and then this will be table number two, and I'm just going to replace the word one and type over it and put two. Then um, since I have it on my clipboard, I'm going to paste again, control V, and then I'm going to move it down. And this is going to be table number three. And then I'm going to do it one more time. And move it down and this is going to be table number four. Okay guys, so I have my table numbers laid out in Brothers Canvas Workspace. And um, now I am about to save the file and queue it up to my designing cut. So this is my vinyl laid out on my uh, designing cut cutting mat. And um, sometimes I have to put some painter's tape in the corner because after a while this thing doesn't stick that well so but this is my mat and I'm getting ready to it's all prepped it has my white vinyl on it and I'm getting ready to put it into my machine and these are our attendees that I have typed in and um, I will leave the description of the font in the um, box below. I will put a link to the font that I use. It's a free font that you can download. And this also matches the same font that we use for our white vinyl. And so I'm going to go ahead and send this to print. Okay, guys, so we are ready to assemble our frame. So we have our little cutting board right here. Um, we have the six lists of all of our wedding guests right here that we printed out on Word. We have our vinyl. And my bad, I did not mean to print eight table numbers. I only meant to cut out six on the vinyl, so that was my bad. And uh, we have our frame that is ready to go. So what we're going to do, and we'll just do one, and then you'll know how to proceed with the rest of them. So we're going to go ahead and take our guests, and we are going to start cutting and trimming this down so that it will fit in the frame. And I will have a Word document for this so you'll know exactly where to cut, okay? So I don't have to go over that in this video. So I'm just going to lay this into my cutting board and just start trimming it so I can fit it into my frame. So I cut down our Word document. It fit pretty good and this is what it looks like. And so now what I have to do is go ahead and cut this piece of um, 12 by 12 craft paper down because I want it to fit. I want to layer this on top. And I will leave the exact measurements up on the screen as to how much I cut. Once I cut one strip out, I was able to go ahead and use that to measure so that I would know where to cut the other strips out. So you're going to get three strips out of one piece of 12 by 12, okay? So we're going to go ahead and cue that up into our little cutting device. And we're going to go ahead and start... Uh, start to cut our 12 by 12 craft paper and I'm doing it from the back instead of the front because it has a lot of glitter and everything on it.
So here are my strips all cut down. And you want to put that to the side. We've cut our strips down. Okay, so remember we have our attendees already in our frame. I'm going to put the frame onto the table. Take one of the 12 by 12 strips of glitter cardstock that we have. I'm also going to use a glue stick. I'm going to pull my Word document back a little bit until I see that line that I that I marked on here. And let me show you the line. That's the line right there. I'm going to put this back in here. I'm going to pull my guest list back. Go ahead and take this glitter stock paper. Put it right inside of my frame. Flush it right up to the very edge of the frame. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding my glue stick. I'm going to put some glue from my glue stick on the back. And I put a generous amount. Make sure that the cardstock is flush up against the frame. And then I am going to lay my guest list right down on top of it. And when you do that, I'm just going to pull it out. It should look like this. There you go. Okay, guys, so we're going to take a microfiber uh, cloth and we're just going to make sure that we get all the dust out of our frame. We're going to put our backing back on. Close it up. And this is what we have so far, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and add our vinyl table number. Now we're going to go ahead and put our table number onto our frame. As you can see, I have already weeded this and put it on transfer paper. And I'm going to leave a couple of links for YouTube videos that show you how to weed vinyl and put it onto transfer paper okay there's just too many resources out there for me to get into it and it would make this video too long so we're going to take our table number and we're going to put it right in this area where we have our black craft paper once we have gotten the proper placement i'm just going to go ahead and start smoothing down the transfer paper um, onto our frame with my fingers Then I'm going to take my burnisher and just kind of go over the vinyl to make sure that it sticks well onto the frame. And this is what we have. This looks awesome, by the way. Okay, so this is what I was going for. This looks beautiful. And this is what you want to do to all six of your frames. So I've already completed the chart for table number three and four. This looks really, really great. So this is what all of them are going to look like. You can just rewind and repeat this process six times. And then once you have all of them completed, you want to set them to the side. And we're going to go to our next step. Hey guys, so now we have um, all of our frames done, and I pretty much just laid this out. So as you can see, we have all of our frames done, and so now what I'm doing is basically looking at the spacing, okay? I'm trying to see how I want to position everything because the board isn't going to be wide enough, so some of the frames are going to hang off of the edge. And also, I want to leave some space up at the top so I can put a flower swag up there. So I want to leave a little bit of room up there. So you want to try to just center your frames as much as possible over the foam board. 
and just center it as as best you can line them all up and then leave some space at the top if you prefer you don't have to this is totally optional leave some space up at the top for some flowers at least that's what I'm going to do but you don't have to do that you can pretty much space this any way you want but you do want to straddle all six of these frames over the foam board. once you feel pretty good about the positioning that you have then you can remove three of the frames and just take a pen and mark uh, where everything is supposed to line up. So just do it lightly so you don't really move the other frames. Now I'm ready to start gluing down my frames to my foam board. Alright everyone, so um, I have my easel ready and I'm going to go ahead and take our seating chart and just set it up on this easel here and uh, this looks great. This looks so professional guys and we really didn't spend any money to do this. So it's looking pretty good guys. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to take this um, floral swag that I made out of, it has some Dollar Tree flowers in here and some flowers from Joanne. Okay, so you can see where I put the zip tie. I just pretty much made two slits with a knife and I just pulled my zip tie through. And that is what I'm going to use to attach our floral swag. Because it's very lightweight so you don't need a heavy duty zip tie. Okay guys, so our project is completed and I think this came out absolutely freaking amazing this is gorgeous i really really love the frames that i picked out at the dollar tree and i definitely plan on getting at least a case of these frames because i think they are amazing and they are just perfect for wedding diy projects but you will love this seating chart it's gorgeous guys okay and i i feel like it wasn't hard to make so if you don't have a printer, you can always go to um, Office Depot. If you do have some type of word processing program on your computer, you can go ahead and still do the guest names for your seating charts and print them out at Office Depot. But most people have printers because printers are super cheap. Uh, if you don't have a cutting machine, please get in contact with me. And I can do table numbers for a small Fee, okay so just contact me I will leave my uh, email address uh, in the description box below but again you'll love this project it is so freaking gorgeous I can't stop looking at it <laughs> all right guys so this wraps up our project oh let me um, before I forget this project came in around I would say this project came in around $17 so that's super super cheap for a seating chart okay and that includes the vinyl so about 17 bucks alright guys so I hope you enjoyed this project and as always don't forget to rate and subscribe and hit me up on my social media platforms Facebook and Instagram you know the routine get those likes up guys please get those likes up so that my video would trend with YouTube I certainly would appreciate that and of course don't forget to share the video I will see you in the next DIY video. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.